Your time right now is 946 and coming up, it is National Wine Day. Need we say more? We are closing out Fun Friday with a tasty pour from Slate Wine Bar. Well, as if fun Friday wasn't enough to kick back with a drink. It's also National Wine Day. I don't need any excuses. So here to test our taste buds with a vino-filled round of trivia is Slate Wine Bar chef and sommelier Danny Yedo. Did I pronounce that? Yes. Wonderful. Awesome. So Slate is over in the Glover Park area, right? Correct. Okay. You've been there, what, about four years? No, five and a half. Five and a half. Oh, okay. A little longer. So along with being this amazing wine steward, you're also this amazing chef. Yes. Wanted to get to this because it also smells mm -hmm. amazing. What do we have here? That's the traditional Valencian paella. Uh-huh. Just a bigger portion than what we're used to, Adriana. <laughs> yeah. So I'm normally used to seafood paella, but I don't see any seafood in here. That's correct. So there's many types of paella. There's seafood, there's vegetarian. You can do stuff with chicken, with rabbit, with pork, with duck, a lot of different types. Awesome. And you brought this in because you are amazing at making this. I, I don't know if we can zoom in to show the other side here, but you recently won a competition. You've Correct. been picked as the person with your team to go on and compete internationally. Correct. So we just won uh, in San Diego for now representing the U.S. in the International Playa Contest in Valencia, Spain. That's, Very that's cool. crazy. Yeah. All right, so uh, you're going to put our taste buzz to the test cool. here. So kind of explain first how this game is going to work. So I'm going to ask a question okay. with multiple choice answers. Okay. And you get to taste the wine, smell it. Mm -hmm. I would suggest smelling and then tasting it. Mm -hmm. And then... We got it. You got okay. it. I have this down. I'm pretty good at this. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> So first, uh, the white wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. Which grape variety is this? Oh. A. Sauvignon Blanc. B. Chardonnay. C. Chenin Blanc. Or D. Riesling. I don't even have to taste it. I'm gonna go with Chardonnay. I'm gonna go with Sauvignon Blanc. Well, we're gonna reveal. It's, oh, it's neither. Is it, is it, is it, is it the Riesling? Him, look at him with it the It is the Chardonnay. It's the Chardonnay. There you go. I just was at a I knew it wine was tasting I this like. past weekend, so it's still it's still in there. So <laughs> the reason why we chose this is that you know Chardonnay has a wide gamut of flavors mm. and profiles. You can, ha and it's meant to trick because eighty percent of people do think that this is a Sauvignon Blanc. They think the Chardonnay is just this oaky, buttery, you know, product from California. No, nope, it was, it was Burgundy from Oregon. Comes in all shapes and flavors and sizes. So interesting. But I don't think I'm a big white wine person. Yeah, you know? we just have to find the right one. Oof, That's yes. what I always say about anything. You have to find the right one. But your, your thing at Slate is that you're known for picking these rare and unusual wines, right? Yeah, so I mean, we definitely, with all our wine flights, yes, we're going to have the traditional Sauvignon mm -hmm, Blanc, yeah. Chardonnay, Cabernet, Pinot Noir, but... There's also other things that you're going to actually taste today and that are different. They're, hmm. you know, Italy, Spain has a lot of unique grape varieties that are just really fun to try. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So next, next the rosé here. Uh, Definitely okay. looks like a rosé. It does. <laughs> yeah. Another one of so my most favorites. So next is mm -hmm. which grape variety or varieties is in this rosé? Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Well, multiple choice, I hope. Yes. Yeah, so A, it's Monastrel. B, Grenache. C, Pinot Noir, or oh, wow. D, a mix of Rhone varieties? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with D. I do not do rosé. A mix. Uh-oh. May have gotten He makes wrong. me so nervous. So this is actually a uh, Monastrel from Jomilla, Spain. Mm -hmm. So Monastrel in France is actually called Mavedre. So mm -hmm. it is one of the five mixed ingredients of Rhone, but is 100% Monastrel from Valenci from the Valencia area in Spain. And and what and how what would you drink this with? What would you pair it with? Because this anything. is one that I haven't had. So this is great Any, with anything. anything. It's a nice <laughs> blend. You can go meat. You can go seafood. If it's like a hundred degrees outside, sometimes it's really hard. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know, like you know, the rosé is kind of your option, especially with you know doing meats or uh, like lambs, mm -hmm. gamey stuff. I do but. think rosé is a very uh, summery time, outdoor, yeah. like easy to sip mm -hmm. drink. But in terms of ordering it at a restaurant, these I'll two pass. reds, one's a little lighter, one looks a little heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, one mm -hmm. of the things you talk about, you, you guys have classes that you do there. Yes. Uh, is, it, is it still okay to sniff? Absolutely. Please sniff. And when you swirl, then sniff, then mm -hmm. you see the intensity yeah. of the aroma come out. Mm -hmm. So the question here is, which wine region does this Pinot Noir oh, come from? Okay. 
this. Okay. We're down to 45, so we got to okay. do this one and get to okay. it. Okay. So it's either A, Burgundy, France, uh, B, Willamette Valley, Oregon, C, Sonoma, California, or D, Otago, New Zealand. I'm going to go with whatever was in Oregon. I'm going to go with California. You're right. It's California. <laughs> this is uh, one of the best representations of California, the most Burgundian, and so it's also meant to trick in terms of the fact that this style is very Burgundian, but Ted Lemon, winemaker mm -hmm. here, excellent, biodynamic, has everything, all nature, no chemical, old-fashioned farming, he believes makes a better wine. Mm -hmm. and, right. and it's okay to, air, to aerate with yes. two glasses, right? I don't have to buy the fancy stuff. <laughs> I have the fancy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so last and not last. No, we, we're actually out of time, oh, but sure. I wanted folks to get uh, more information on Slate and some of the classes that you do there. How, how can they find out more? So follow us on social media. Uh, Slate Wine Bar is our handle for Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we're going to always post things about our wine tastings, wine classes, and things like that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming in and putting thank us you. to the test. Good job. I'm Cheers. pretty sure that you won. <laughs> And yeah. everybody go out to Slate. Yeah. All you. right. Thank you. Uh, your time right now is 9.54. And coming up, the final moments of Good Morning Washington after the break. All right. So we are ending this Good Morning Washington Friday with a toast to the holiday weekend and to all of our yes. service members who sacrificed right. their lives fighting yes, for this country and defending us from foreign enemies and domestic enemies. Thank you for your service. Yes. Please don't forget what this weekend is truly about as you enjoy your barbecues and your time with friends and family. We will see you on Monday for Memorial Day. Have a great weekend. Feel the rhythm.